Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering all the chips on the table. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this gamble, the Los Angeles Rams have one of the best gambles in NFL history. When you look at all the movement that they've made the last three years, when you look at bringing in Jalen Ramsey from the Jaguars, making a trade for that, when you look at making a trade for Von Miller at the trade deadline, when you look at bringing in Odell Beckham off free agency, trading away Todd Gurley, or releasing him, excuse me, trading away Jared Goff to the Detroit Lions for Matthew Stafford, they have put all their chips on the table. When you look at every single detail of how they won that Super Bowl, it was impeccable. When you look at Sean McVay and his coaching, he learned from his mistakes. Late in the game, Matthew Stafford turned the Jets on with Cooper Cup, and they got the job done. Exactly. What is Aaron Donald at this point? We start talking about Aaron Donald as the greatest player of all time defensively. Is he starting to creep in there and really touch the garments of, of LT Lawrence Taylor? I think you have to start making that decision. Discussions need to be had because at this point in time, he's becoming disruptive on every single play. There's times where he gets triple teamed and double teamed and nothing happens, but there's far more times where I see him in the in the backfield and him making plays and creating havoc. To go in and, and put all your chips on the table and win it, it's ballsy. It has a lot of moxie. You're mortgaging your right now for the future. You're saying, I'm going to make all this effort, time, and energy, these draft picks, all this money, this salary cap stretch, and I'm going to possibly lose out on a good roster for the next two or three years, but I'm going to get the job done. When I look at the Rams' uh, uh, offensive salary cap for next year, they're in salary cap hell. But the beautiful thing is, when they have these players, they can re-sign them and get the, the, the discount. When you're looking at players like Aaron Donald, when you're looking at players like Jalen Ramsey, when you look at players like Matthew Stafford, they're all coming back next year. So their core is going to be elite. Now, getting Von Miller back, that would be a great thing. Getting Odell Beckham on a team-friendly discount, that would be great. You already have Cooper Cup. And you got this defense that's flying around and making plays. When you're looking at just what you need to win in the NFC West each and every week against teams like the uh, Arizona Cardinals, teams like the San Francisco 49ers, teams like the Seahawks, you need some dogs. You need guys that are going to attack. You need guys that are going to pressure the quarterback. And most of the time, what we were able to see was these guys in the Super Bowl made adjustments. The second half, they put all the chips on the table and said, we're going to do this. So it was pretty impressive. So. I think this was the greatest gamble that I've ever seen in history of NFL. I think when you're looking at just all the parameters, the Rams offense took off at the right time. The defense carried this team in a lot of different plays. And you look at just how big they were making stops against the Bengals. Yes, they gave up a play here or there. There was a couple of pass interference calls that was missed in that game. We all saw it. But this was Sean McVay's biggest gamble, and it worked. The Odell Beckham gamble worked. The Von Miller gamble worked. The Jalen Ramsey gamble worked. All of those combined with Matthew Stafford coming from Detroit when people thought he was a loser. People thought he didn't win playoff games. People said, oh, he's never been to the playoffs and really made no noise. That all is history. Right now, you have to look at this. Sean McVay is a champion. The Rams are champions. And at the end of the day, all you can do is remember they won a championship with their gambles. You don't remember losers. You remember winners. So at the end of the day, folks, this gamble paid off and they bet house money and they won a Super Bowl at home. So it's impressive. So what do you sports fans think? Get in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think about this. Was this the greatest gamble of all history in the NFL as far as trades and things like that combined for the Super Bowl? Check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns. I definitely want to make sure you check that out and check out the full archive. And look at that. You made it to the end of the video. Now, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and check out the rest of the content. We'll see you on the next video.